Greetings, everyone. Dave Limanova here again. Uh, shout out to all teachers uh, for those who are preparing for the New Year's lesson. I hope wherever you are, whether or not you're going back to school or whether you are taking uh, on working from home and doing some online lessons again, wherever you are, please take care and stay safe. All right. In this video, I am excited to share with all of you a workflow that I have been wishing for after owning the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil for two years already. Now, as a teacher, I have this idea, this kind of workflow habit that I wish I could write anything uh, within the cells of a uh, spreadsheet app. And previously, I could not find any app. The closest that I can achieve doing so is using the uh, Microsoft Excel app on the iPad. But the biggest issue of using Excel in the iOS app is that your writing does not convert to a digital data, but rather it becomes an image uh, where you can drag around but does not store into any of the cells as a value. Well, finally, after Apple updates to the iPad OS 14 and using the Numbers app, my wish is finally here. And if you stay along, I will show you how to do it. All right. So in the Excel app, we all know that when we start writing with the Apple Pencil, it would just converge to a annotation tool. It, it literally is a image. You know, it does not convert um, these writings into a proper digital value or a digital data that, that stores within the cell. For example, I write the heading name and the grade on top of A1 to B1, and then now I'm going to write my name as an example of a student, and then I'll put one of the data, uh, data right there, B minus. Now, as a teacher or as a data person, you don't like this to be an image, and you wish that there is a spreadsheet that can literally change this into a digital value which I can tell you that you can do that in Apple's Numbers app. So for example, if I want to write in some of the headings, I select the Scribble 2 by Apple, and for the Scribble 2 from the Apple writing annotation. And you can see when I write that there, it immediately converts that into a digital text. And I want to do here in the same way to gray, and then here, writing the same thing and automatically you can do so here with that all right isn't that cool now thank you for watching i hope that this video actually gives you an idea and you're also like me excited that this feature finally is here thank you